guys, welcome to Bug Lover 27. Today, we're going to talk about a conflict that's going on in another country. Well, another country for me, because I live in the USA, but you get my drift. I'm wanting to teach you a brief history on the conflict between the Israelites and the Palestinians. To start off, I think I should explain what the heck this conflict I'm speaking of is. So basically, in the country of Israel, two big religions, or groups of people, are fighting over this small town called Jerusalem. Why are they fighting over this land? I hear you asking. Well, you see, it's both simply and not so simply put. I'll let you decide. In a nutshell, way, way, way back when, the story of Abraham played a role in forming two big religions. In this case, it was the Jews and the Islamic. Since the two groups can't decide on who gets the promised land, according to the biblical text, there are some arguments today debating over who gets what. But that isn't even where it ends, ladies and gentlemen, because wait, there's more. In the Islamic faith, Muhammad died and ascended to heaven from Jerusalem. And then on the other hand, we have the Jews, who also have a lot of ties to the same land, starting with Abraham and, well, many more generations and figures later. As you can see, both faiths have a lot of reason to own the land. Fast forward a few hundred years and we have the Holocaust. Many Jews were forced out of their homes and placed into camps during World War II. That's a subject for another video, though. During these events, the Palestinians got to have Israel mainly all up to themselves. Well, until around 1947, after World War II, you know, the Jews started coming back. And around that same time, the Israelites began to infiltrate. Some might say that it was taken over illegally, but either way, the land was taken over. And in the meantime, the Palestinians were gradually being kicked out of their home country. Naturally, that was making the Palestinians very pissed. <laughs> Naturally, this was making the Palestinians very peeved. On December 9th, 1987, something was set in motion up until September 13th, 1993. The first Palestinian Infinetta. What is an Infinetta and why should you care? Well, my friends, let's take it to the Google search engine. After one search, you can find that essentially an Infinetta is the uprising specific to the Palestinians. Yeah, one thing they can take out away from this is that they have a special word now called for themselves causing an uproar. That claims many lives. Mental note. In all seriousness, the Palestinians were having none of the nonsense. In fact, later in September of 2000, lasting through to February 8th, 2005, there was another Infinetta, known as, simply put, the Second Infinetta. On a more recent note, however, there is a different event that meant a lot for the Israelites and the Palestinians. Let me explain. The United States always saw the Israelites to be close allies. This was only more extremely emphasized on May 14th, 2018, with the opening of the new U.S. Embassy. It moved from Tel Aviv to, you guessed it, Jerusalem, officially recognizing the Israelites as the people that should own the land, that should own Jerusalem, for lack of better words. On another hand, the Israelites are holding on to the land with a strong iron fist, in the process, however, causing roughly over 1.5 million individual refugees with 58 refugee camps. This is definitely an issue that is very controversial, with many answers for a solution that could end this seemingly hopeless fight. One solution I can think of is making Jerusalem a historic site where no one owns it. Maybe the UN, but just making sure that no one person or government owns it. Then the Palestinians and Israelites can split the rest of the land so that they can just live more in peace. Did I miss anything? Do you have an idea of what can be a potential solution for, to the, for the crisis? Or have any recommendations on what my next video should be? Put them down in the comments below. Until next time, I'm BugLover27. Have a nice day.